faux painting adds grace and sophistication to any room. In this module, we'll show you a strie effect called double process burlap strie. And we'll use two different color combinations to suggest the creative combinations you can try. The burlap effect creates a rich texture and handmade detail to the wall finish, which cannot be matched by similar wallpaper patterns. Both of these faux painting processes use the same technique and just two colors of paint. It's easy to do and the results are very rewarding. Here's how. We've already painted two coats of primer on this demonstration section of drywall. Your wall should be clean, sanded, and smooth. Even if the existing paint is in good condition, it's a good idea to prime the room again. In this example, we'll be applying the darker stripes over a light base. You can experiment to determine the combination of colors that will work well with your room. The base coat should always be either satin or semi-gloss finish. We're using latex paint here for both easy application and easy cleanup. Apply the base coat over the primer coat with a roller, working over a two or three foot section of wall, and then filling in the spaces in between. After the base layer dries, you'll often find holidays or areas of missing paint. You'll get a better overall result if you give your walls another coat of base paint before you start. The first process strie color is made up of a latex, semi-gloss, gloss, or eggshell color you want for the stripes, mixed with a latex glaze. The glaze is a clear carrier that you use to make the strie color more transparent and to allow you enough time to lay down the pattern. The mixing ratio is five parts of latex glaze to one part of latex paint. The glaze looks milky white, but dries clear. Measure and pour the glaze into the mixing bucket first, and then the paint. Stir the glaze thoroughly to blend the glaze and paint together. Using a quality 4-inch latex paintbrush, apply the single process color to the wall in the same direction that you want the stripes to run, in this case horizontally. Leave a little more paint at the beginning of the run so that you have additional paint to pull across with the strie brush. Apply enough paint to cover the width of two passes of the strie brush you'll be using. Paint the entire length of the wall. A strie brush is a special brush designed just to make strie stripes. Hold the brush flat to the wall and pressing down slightly, pull the strie brush slowly and steadily across the wall. Don't stop until you reach the end of the wall. As you get to the end of the wall, rotate the brush to carry the pattern over the edge. Return to the beginning of the wall and holding the brush flat to the wall, pull the strie brush across the remaining paint, overlapping by a quarter of an inch. When the pattern's been applied, use the four inch latex brush to apply more single process color over the base coat covering an area just slightly under two widths of the strie brush. Overlap the previous pass by a quarter of an inch, keeping the brush nearly flat to the wall. Distribute the paint evenly. After two or three passes, wipe off the strie brush with a cotton, lint-free rag to remove the excess paint. When you're done, the first process should look something like this. Let the wall dry completely and use the time to thoroughly clean and dry your brushes. After the wall is thoroughly dry, we'll add a second process color, a vertical strie. The first step is to add a little more glaze to the five to one glaze and paint mixture you've already made up. This will make the pattern more transparent. Using a quality four inch latex paintbrush, evenly apply the second process color vertically. Leave a little more paint at the top of the stripe to pull down with the strie brush. Now using the same strie brush, which you thoroughly cleaned and dried, hold the brush flat to the wall and with a gentle pressure, drag the strie brush straight down from the top of the wall to the bottom. Continue down the wall, 
adding one or two brush widths of tinted glaze with a 4 inch latex brush. And then slowly pull the strie brush down over the paint with a straight even motion. Using clean lint free cotton rags, wipe the strie brush dry after one or two passes to keep the brush from loading with paint. It's the dry strie brush that makes the crisp burlap pattern. The result is a rich, textured classic burlap pattern. Now you can alter the strie effect by simply changing the colors you choose. For instance, you could make the second process color lighter than the first process color. Here, we mix the original beige base color with the latex glaze in a ratio of one part paint to five parts of latex glaze. Mix thoroughly and completely to blend the new glaze. Apply the glaze with a 4 inch latex brush, lightly brushing the glaze on with straight, even vertical strokes. Continue to apply the vertical stripes of tinted glaze, quickly following with firm, straight strokes with the strie brush to set the pattern. It's a little trickier to get the pattern even when laying a lighter tint over a darker color. If the layer is too heavy, by working quickly, you can even out the pattern by going back over the area with a light touch. If there's a thin line of missing paint, add a little more glaze with a latex brush, and then gently smooth it out with the strie brush. Altering color combinations creates endless possibilities, but the result is always the same a classic faux painting pattern, rich in texture and sophistication.